Hello everyone. So in this session, we'll discuss one question on series expansion using standard expansion. Some of the expansions which we have already discussed and defined. So it says e to the power of x cos x is equal to 1 plus x minus 2 x cube by 3 factorial minus 2 square by 4 factorial x to the power 4 and so on. So what we are going to do is we'll check the expansions which we have already seen for some of the functions and then multiply and see what result we are finally getting. So standard expansions which we have already seen is like e to the power of x is equal to 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial and so on. Similarly, this cos x is given as 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x to the power 4 by 4 factorial minus x to the power 6 by 6 factorial and so on. So let's say this entire term is y. So y now is going to be this multiplied with this. So I'll write it as 1 plus x by 1 factorial of course x square by 2 factorial x cube by 3 factorial and now that we have fourth term also so we can write it as plus x to the power 4 by 4 factorial let's let's keep it up to x to the power 4 since we have these terms into 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x to the power 4 by 4 factorial and let's keep it till here because x to the power 6 will be higher order which we don't have so we can keep it like this now either we can do like multiply all the terms and see what expansion we are getting and we may drop the higher orders or otherwise we can start picking up the factors for each of the coefficients like like constant like x like x square x cube and so on so either way we can do it so let's let's multiply it and let's see uh, we can simultaneously start dropping the higher order terms and then we can add all of it together so starting from the constant this one multiplied with this term so it will be 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x to the power 4 by 4 factorial. Let's keep it till here. We can keep dot dot and just let it be. Next is x by 1 factorial. So 1 factorial is simply 1. So x. So we'll multiply this factor x with this thing. So x minus x cube by 2 factorial plus x to the power 5 by 4 factorial and anything higher will be higher so higher than fourth order so we'll drop it like this next one is x square which is having 1 by 2 factorial so let's take this 1 by 2 factorial which is 1 by 2 outside and x square multiplied with all these terms so it is x square minus x to the power 4 by 2 factorial now x square into x to the power 4 will be x to the power 6 so let's let's drop it so simply let's let's say it is dot 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 and then x cube so 1 by 3 factorial is 1 by 6 x cube so x cube minus x to the power 5 by 2 and let's limit it to here till here 1 by 4 factorial is 1 by 24 for fourth term and x to the power 4 multiplied with constant and x square so x square and x4 will become x to the power 6 so let's drop it 
and simply write x to the power 4 for this term and this term let's drop this one and higher higher order right so let's keep it till here and let's see what are the coefficients we are getting for all x to the power of k let's say k so the first term which is constant here the first one is constant so we don't have anything other than this constant there is only one constant which is 1 x to the power of 0 so these are all even terms odd terms even terms and odd terms so x is odd terms so we'll be getting it from here we don't have anything in this one so we have only x here so let's say it is x then x square so x square we are getting from here which is minus 1 by 2 factorial so minus 1 by 2 nothing from this box uh, one thing one factor from this factorial is 1 by 2 nothing from this one so that's it x cube so x cube we are not getting from here from here we have minus 1 by 2 so it is minus 1 by 2 nothing from this one from here we are getting plus 1 by 6 next one is x to the power 4 so here we have 1 by 4 factorial so let's write it 1 by 24 nothing from this side from this bracket we have half into minus 1 by 2 factorial so it will be minus 1 by 4 and one term we also have let's write it plus here so this is also 1 by 24 so this is going to be let's say y so 1 plus x this one is 6 not only okay this one was correctly written which was 1 by 2 so this gets cancelled we don't have anything from x square this becomes 0 x cube we have minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 6 so this overall becomes like if we are taking LCM for 6 then we'll have minus 3 plus 1 which will be minus 2 by 3 x cube 3 in sense of factorial because 6 is like 6 is 3 factorial so I'm writing it as 3 factorial for x to the power 4 we have 1 by 24 plus 1 by 24 which will be let's let's take calcium as 24 so that will be 24 is as 4 factorial 24 is 4 factorial so this is 1 this will be 6 this will be 1 so this is 1 minus 6 plus 1 which is minus 4 which can be written as minus 2 square that is what we have in the expression so minus 2 square of x to the power of Four. so this is what they were expecting so it is as given so it is proved y which is e to the power of x into cos x